In this lesson, we'll work through two proofs where in each proof we prove two different pairs of triangles to be congruent, and in doing so, it'll help us prove what we're trying to prove. In the first proof, we're trying to prove a pair of angles congruent. We're given a diagram as shown and two other statements about pairs of congruent segments. Well, let's mark what's given. YZ is congruent to WZ, and XY is congruent to XW. Marked as shown. And our strategy for this proof will be to start by proving that this blue triangle, ZYX, is congruent to this other blue triangle, ZWX. And you can see we're probably going to be able to do that with side, 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 because our third side is ZX congruent to itself. And then after we've proved those two triangles congruent, we'll prove these two green triangles congruent, and we'll use some of the things that we proved in the first pair of triangles to prove the second pair of triangles, and ultimately, we'll prove that angle UYZ is congruent to UWZ. Well, the first thing we're going to do is state the first given, and that's a side in our first pair of triangles. And then we'll state the second given, which is another side. And then, of course, ZX is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. So we now have the two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. And then in our second pair of triangles, we're already going to use one of the givens for a second time. So we use red to show how we're going to set up the second pair. So we have a side, and then we'll use corresponding parts of congruent triangles to get an angle, and then ZU congruent to itself by the reflexive property. So now you can see we have side angle side for the green pair of triangles. And then from there, we have corresponding parts to prove the two angles we set out to prove in the first place. And this proof is complete. Some people call these detour proofs. The first pair of triangles is the detour before we get to the second pair of triangles that actually sets up what we're finally trying to prove. And here's another one. A little bit longer than the first one, we have given that D is the midpoint of two segments, CE and BG, and we're given a pair of congruent angles, and we're going to try to prove that segment AB is congruent to segment FG. Well, let's mark what we know, and the midpoint gives us that CD is congruent to DE, and also that BD is congruent to DG. And here's our given pair of angles. And then there's one other pair. Because of vertical angles, we can mark CDB congruent to GDE. And you can see that our first pair of triangles, marked in green, will be easy to prove using side angle side. And from there, it'll be a little more complicated but we'll use information from our first pair of triangles to prove the second pair of triangles. And once we have those proved congruent, we'll know that AB is congruent to FG by corresponding parts. Well, let's start the proof. We have that D is the midpoint of CE and BG, and that's given, of course. And because of the definition of a midpoint, we can say that CD is congruent to ED, which is a side and that BD is congruent to GD, which is another side. And then we have our angles, because they're vertical angles. This is out of order, SSA, but we know that the two triangles are congruent by SAS. The order that you prove the two sides and the angle does not matter. And then we have a pair of sides congruent by corresponding parts, BC and GE. And there's a pair of congruent angles by corresponding parts as well, but this pair of angles are not angles that are part of the two triangles that we're trying to prove now. However, they are supplementary to angles in the triangles we're trying to prove because from the diagram we can see that they form a linear pair, each one. ACB is a linear pair with BCD, and FEG is a linear pair with GED. And then we can say that the two that we're after, angle ACB and angle FEG, are congruent because angles supplementary to congruent angles are congruent. And then we state our final given. This is unusual to state one of the givens so late in a proof in step 11. 
but it completes an angle side angle for our second set of triangles. And there they are, ACB congruent to FEG by angle side angle. And then because of corresponding parts, we have that segment AB is congruent to segment FG and our proof is finished. In this lesson, we looked at detour proofs. In these proofs, we proved a pair of triangles congruent before using corresponding parts to prove a second pair of triangles congruent.